Okay, guys, so before we get on to today's episode of the Battle City uh, Showdown event, I want to give you guys a couple things or a heads up about the video. So, one, um, the video um, file, or not the video file, but the video was, like, messed up just a tad bit, and the screen was, like, um, wider than what I was recording in. So I fixed that. Eventually in the episode, there will be a timestamp on screen telling you guys when that got fixed. And uh, also, originally, this video was, like, 41 minutes long, which was ridiculous. So I cut it down by, like, a ton to, like, make it around 20 25 minutes but due to that there some of the cuts are could have been better but this is mostly just me practicing so i never edited a video like this where i just cut a ton of the video to make it shorter but still like kind of makes sense you know so this is the first time that i ever did it so there's gonna be some hiccups um here and there but i hope you guys enjoy nonetheless so thank you guys for just uh sticking by thank you for watching this video and enjoy the video What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links Battle City Showdown. We're going to go through the board at number two, because that's where we left off last time. And I think what we're plans for today's event is that we're going to go against my Valentine. We're going to go against Isiju. Isiju, I don't know how to pronounce her. Now, I did already do the free spin today, and I think I got a third... What is it? A third... I got a third fusion sword, so that was pretty cool. Hopefully that we can get some more coins throughout this episode and get some cool stuff. Hopefully that is the case. That is my plan. But I guess we should just get rolling onto this dice. Let's just get rolling. Let's just get right on today's episode. If you guys did not catch part one, by the way, be sure to go hit that up. Link in the description down below. Put the playlist of this, um, you know, whole event thing in the description down below. And also, we're just going to uh, duel Vagabond. I'm super glad that we landed on him, though, because we get XP for that. So let's go see if Seto Kaiba can, you know... Beat up, beat up this fool. Beat up this fool. My auto deck for Seto Kaiba right now is a bunch of dragons because I'm running peak performance and then all my dragons are like at 2,000. Got Evil Swarm over here. Nice. Look at that back row. Look at that back row. Easy peasy, love and squeezy. And hopefully the desktop audio is not too loud. I'm going to turn it down just a tad bit. Hopefully it's not terribly loud in the video. I'm not too sure. But yeah, we're going to get rocked by Sylvans right now, bro. These Sylvans are going to show us what they're made of. And we're getting Ultimate Providence. Dang. Your boy out here is just going in. Surprised you didn't sell Wild Disruption. Okay. Kind of confused by that. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing, uh, you know, Seto Kaiba. I feel like you're choking this right now. But yeah, the playlist of this whole Battle City Showdown event is going to be in the description. So if you guys want to check out Part 1 or, you know, with Part 3, 4, 5, etc. is out, you guys can just go check that playlist. And we're still trucking along. We're going to get killed by one Marshleaf. Oh, dang. Vigobot out here with the place taking out Mountain. Oh, no. What back row do we have? Oh, we have Floodgate and we have Mirror Wall. I don't know why you always set him in face down, man. I don't know why. You should just put him in attack position in the first place. I don't know, man. I don't know. Wall this, And then we just wall disruption ourselves. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I think we got the W, though. We got the W still. That's all I'm asked at the end of the day. I forgot what challenge it was. I think it was like, yeah, it was just that. We're going to barely get like any XP, but still, we're going to get Kaibut's level um, 45 because I really want to get that level 45 reward. I know people have been going for uh, Siju's um, 45 reward and um, my Valentine's, but the only characters that have like 40 is like Jade and Yugi, Kaiba. So, um, almost Aster. Aster's almost 40. Bastion at 40. Yeah, but I don't have Amazon or anything like that. What deck was this guy playing? Some, you know, good old Sylvans. You guys love it. I know I've been getting some comments on my why Sylvans are not overpowered, which they still are not. But, like, yeah, I mean, I know why people hate them. But at the same time, I don't think they're that overpowered. There's times where you just don't get what you need, man. And it's, it's, a, it's a rough life, man. It is a rough life. Okay, so we're gonna get ooh, we're gonna get a one. What's this treasure chest? Give me give me the big money. That's terrible. Okay. Let's get this rolling. Let's get this rolling. Ooh, a two. Doesn't really matter though. We're on my Valentine. And now I don't think I can really do a good girl um oppression. I know your boy it's Brad has HD comments in on my last video talking about my amazing voice acting on part one, but I don't know. I don't know if I can do mine. Merrick, huh? So this loser has an Egyptian god card. It won't take long for me to seize his card and use it to win the Battle City Vinyls. I know that's nothing like mine. <laughs> Prepare to be cast into the shadows. I don't even think, like, any of these are... I don't know. Wh what is with this fog? Uh-oh. It's just as I feared. Merrick has summoned the evil powers of the Shadow Realm. My! This duel must end now. There is more at stake than you know. 
Yugi, have you completely lost it? It'll take a lot more than some creepy fog to scare me off. I feel like that voice acting would work a lot better for a Siju. Yugi, Joey, appreciate your uh, concerns, but my mind's made up. I'm staying in this duel, and, and if you excuse me, I got a duel to win. Heh. <laughs> Very good, foolish girl. I knew that I would count on you to use that stubborn mind of yours. Wow, you still remember now. Yikes. So, I'm gonna be... Okay, so we're gonna probably want to play Merrick for this one. You ready, Merrick? Use young Merrick to feed my Valentine. Use Wing Dragon to Raw one time in a duel and successfully report one troop and something to the duel. Okay. We have to use Wing Dragon to Raw in one duel. Okay. So I feel like let's go do a deck build. Let's go build something. Ooh, yeah, I am not prepared. Here, we're gonna fail with this deck real quick, okay? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take the fattest L with this deck. Okay. Triple lava golem, cause why not? I think triple lava golem is actually gonna save us though. Because we have a lot of back row for protecting ourselves from damage. So we're gonna try this out and just get obliterated. Um, yeah, let's 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 try this out. Let's try this out. Let's try this out. My Valentine versus this monstrosity. Forgot how cool the Battle City uh field looks though. It's so cool. Oh, I just realized something. Oh, hold up, window. There we go. There we go. I am extremely sorry about that. Okay, what should we go first? It's kind of a kind of an oof. I don't really like this hand too much, to be honest. And we're going against Amazon's Village. That is always fun. I think we're gonna send uh, Rainbow Life to the gray or to the deck. And a Draining Shield. Okay. Let's play some Dark World Dealing. Ooh, your boy, your boy right there. Your boy Duranthrum. Oh, we actually could have summoned him if we wanted to. We're gonna gain some light points real quick. Another draining shield. I don't think this is gonna go well. We need that raw disciple real quick. We need that raw disciple real quick. Uh oh. What does that effect do? Spell to the striker. Hmm. I think we gotta wait. Actually, I'm going to stall. It's time to stall. Yeah, you're going to get another because it's a level 4 or lower. Yeah. It's a 4 or lower. Lower. Ooh, we're going to get smacked real, real bad. We're going we're gonna to just keep trucking along, though. I right, take all the damage. A wing dragon or a baby. Actually, I could have normal summon to be honest. Yep, that was a huge oof. That was a big oof. I think we're gonna live though? Ooh, we are. We're sticking to the end, baby. Dark and oil dealings. Yeah, we can't. We literally can't do anything right now. Dantron, baby. Yo, this music is epic, though. Oh my goodness. That music is epic. Big oof, big oof right there, boys and girls. Yeah, that was a rough, rough duel. That was a rough duel. You won't break my spirit because I have friends to give me hope. Alternate ending, baby. Okay, so I think we're going to cut to... Um, Building a deck. We're gonna go build a wing dragon rod deck from YouTube. I'll shout out whoever uh, built this deck, but I'll be right back Okay, so we're gonna be back right here, and yeah I realized something with um, all these other decks on YouTube when it comes to the wing dragon raw is that it needs a lot of draw power and then cards like double summon which speaking of I should probably drop one of the cards. I kind of don't want to drop lava golem But I'm gonna do it anyways and we're gonna add double summon, even though we're probably not gonna get it. Oh, we need to. Yeah, I noticed a lot of the decks is literally just uh, for the raw, you know, wing dragon raw, three raw disciple, wing dragon raw, and then the rest of the cards is just the stall for it. So that's what I built. Cause I looked at a ton of different deck lists from all sorts of different YouTubers. 
guns blazing YT Dan. And dual partner, even though he doesn't upload anymore. And yeah, just like a bunch of other just Duel Links content creators. And literally every deck is just play um, Raw Disciple. So we're going to run this Karibo build. Um, because we can play Flute Summoning Karibo to special summon Wing Karibo and then take no damage for the turn. And then just keep drawing it to the cards that we need. Eventually, we're going to play the Dank World Dealings because why not? Yeah, we're just going to give it another shot. Sally. What's our opening hand? Okay, we got Raw Disciple out, which is nice, and double summon. So I think well, literally all we gotta do is just stall for Wing Dragon or Raw. You're gonna attack into us. We're gonna play the Flute Summoning Karibo. Yes. Let's get our Wing Karibo out on the board. Take no damage for this whole turn. Very nice. Shout out to Wing Karibo. Um, yeah, let's pop Aegis of Gaia. Let's do that. And I think I'm gonna Spear you. Yeah, let's Spear Karibo you and then take another 17. Come on, where's our Winged Wagon to Raw? That's another Aegis Sky. I'll take that. We're gonna have to pop. Yeah, we're gonna have to pop this one. We're definitely gonna have to pop this one. Let's just do it. Come on. Come on, Duel Links. Oh, jeez. We really need Winged Dragon to Raw right now. Are you joking me? My luck is horrendous. My luck is actually horrendous right now. Like, oh my goodness. I just want Winged Dragon to Raw. I literally had everything. I only running one double summon. We're just gonna auto duel that. We're just gonna auto duel that and just get moved. This hand's a little bit better, but the issue is we don't have Raw Disciple. We have Kree. That sucks. Ooh, okay, we got Raw Disciple now, which is good. I think we're gonna discard the Wing Kree Bow. We're gonna set you down. We're gonna set you down. We just need Wing Dragon Raw Double Summon. I think I should wait till uh, my summons three monsters at once. Yeah, let's play. Yeah, let's just wait till she summons like three monsters at once. Another Aegis of Gaia. Let's play that. Let's play that uh, flute. Get that Wing Karibo out on the board. Come on, let's just get that Wing Dragon Raw, man. That's all I want. I just want Wing Dragon Raw right now. That's not Wing Dragon or Raw, let me tell you that much. That is not the Wing Dragon or Raw. Let's just pop both of these and then kind of like assess uh, what our life points are at. I think we're gonna wait. This is lame. Okay, now we just need double summon and I think we're good. That is not double summon like that. Jeez Louise, man. Mai is just beating us up. Egyptian God is not good. Not good, man. Let's build some waifu barriers, bro. Let's play some ice waifu barriers, because I had that deck uh, build previously. Man, this episode's becoming so long for no reason. It really isn't. It should just be, like, two event duels, and that's it. Whatever, okay, we're going to play the triple waifu, because I want to. Um, Should we still play that balance? Balance some ice barriers, man? Should we do it? Nah, let's run three of each, because I hate myself. Uh, is this one four more cards than you do? Sure, why not? Oh, yeah, what about this SR boy, though? I'd rather play that, um, SR boy. Not that prismatic waifu, though. Let's just run my prismatics, man. Um, what else? Yo, let's just play the Dark World Dealings, because why not? It's a draw card, man. It's a draw card. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Yeah, let's play that draw pass, though. Let's be real. 300 life points and skipping, uh, gaining a card. That's too good. A draw pass, though, would actually be really good if Infernoids came into the game. Yeah, if Infernoids came into the game from 5Ds, I believe that's what they're called. Or was it Infernities? I think it was, like, Infernities or whatever. But I think for anybody who played TCG, you guys know what that is. But, yeah, the Infernities or whatever, they don't like to have any cards in your hand. Draw Pass would be useful if that was the case. Not a good idea. Ooh, can't use that one just yet. We're just going to summon the wife, Ice Waifu and call it good. Yeah, that's why I thought. Come on, that sucks. Oh, yeah, we can actually reveal and return. Let's shield that Ice Waifu off. Return that to hand. Uh oh. Oh, that's that's actually not cool. That's really uncool, man. That is super uncool, bro. 
Oh, baby, look at that. Look at that. We got, dude, all the ice waifus coming in. We're just gonna auto duel the rest of that, man. Get wrecked, my. You're so bad. I'm joking. I'm joking. I just want to do the challenge for fun. I want to do the challenge for fun. Well, that took way too long. It took the bulk of this video. Originally, I was hoping not to really edit this video too much, but I'm definitely gonna have to edit it. <laughs> Only individuals who can read the ancient text can wield the power of Ra. If you can't read the chant, then I shall release the winged dragon of Ra. Such a pity that has to end like this, my dear. I... Your mind is a mere shadow of its former self, and it's growing even dimmer. As soon as my monster attacks, your will will crumble. That's enough! Leave my alone! Your grudge is against me, not her! That's true, Pharaoh, but I'm just having a little fun up here. There's nothing like toying with someone's mind. This madness had to stop, understand, right now! The madness has just begun. Tormenting your little friend's mind was merely practice. For soon, you shall suffer. The world finally, and I skipped that. <laughs> the shadow game is over. The time has come to trap your mind in the shadows forever. You're about to feel the rage of the gods. Farewell. Hey, Mai, get you. I'll get you out of this. Joey, forget about me. Just go. No way, Mai. Not without you. Listen, Joey, don't be a hero. Just go. Look, I'm staying right here. Joey, thank you. <laughs> Big oof. Uh. Ooh, did he just take it all? Did I thought, yeah, didn't Mai get destroyed? Well, let's see what happens next. Yugi! Merrick, I shall, I will shield everyone from your evil and send you back to the darkness. That was intense. Also, the anime, Mai got absolutely obliterated, so that was cool. <laughs> I wouldn't say cool, but it happened. It happened. We got that three roll, baby. Got that three roll, baby. Got that two roll for them treasure chests. Now let's get on to the next event and hopefully not take 20 minutes just to get past one duelist. Ooh, we got 5,000 coins. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Ba bam. Dot, dot, dot. What? It's Iju. Why are you here? We meet again, said Okaiba. My Millennium Necklace tells me you will lose in this duel to me. I must save Merrick. I know there is a good buried deep within my brother. <laughs> Enough with the Millennium items. I don't believe in that nonsense, is that clear? And I don't appreciate you using my tournament to solve your personal family issues. I plan this competition with one goal in mind, to reclaim my place as the number one duelist in the world. Just because you're foolish enough to hand me Obelisk doesn't mean I won't use it to end you. I am a far better duelist than you, and I plan to win this tournament. Ha ha ha! Obelisk will fall in my hand, leading to Kaiba's defeat. Okay, so... Okay, well, we could definitely... We could definitely... Let's go just build some Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'd love to play that. That would be so much fun to play some Blue Eyes White Dragon. Which deck do you want to get rid of? Oh. Oh, yeah, I could level them up to 41, so I got the extra deck slot. Let's get it. Let's play some Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's go uh, play that. Blue Eyes. I don't know what skill I want to play. I could play the Peak Performance, but I'll just choose my skill once the deck's all said and done. Just put blue in the search thing and see what pops up. Uh, Triple Kaiba Man, all three different Blue Eyes. We're just gonna play that old school, that old school Blue Eyes White Dragon, Triple Dragon Summoner. If I had Kaiba 45, I would play that one spell. Um, what else? We can play some Ancient Rules to get him out easier. Play some of that Ancient Rules. Misspelled it again, twice in a row, back to back. Yeah, I think that's how we do it. Let's add two more. I was hoping uh, Mokubo would get a second, or I mean a third copy of Ancient Rules. That would have been cool. Uh, let's so what else? Some other Kaiba cards, enemy controller. What else? We got we got five ways to summon Blue Eyes White Dragon. We got some searchers. I guess this is just straight up only Blue Eyes White Dragon and nothing else. No, no other dragons. Just Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's it. 
or on one champ's vigilance. Uh, let's add a wall disruption, just in case if somehow she can get past us. We can just run that. Um, yeah, I think Restart will probably be the better choice. Okay, just a quick old school blue eyes deck for sure. I don't know why, I probably shouldn't play two burst stream destruction, it's too much, but we're playing Restart to hopefully balance it out, so. Let's go, uh, you know, just defeat Izizi real quick. Real quick. I really love the music of this event, though. I think they really killed it with the music. It felt super cool doing, like, attempting to do voice acting on, like, the Merrick and my scene. Like that, man. I thought that was super cool. With the music in the background and everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's get it that hot restart. Get that hot restart. That is also Garbo. Hopefully can draw into our blue eyes. Nope. Nope. This is why we're playing Wall of Disruption, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, I'm feeling blue eyes next turn, guys. Oh, we should have played Powerful. Oh, we should have played Birthright. I forgot about that. Because we had that combo for Majesty Eyes of Blue. Ooh. Come on, Duel Links. Stop it. Stop it, please. We'll wait. Come on, Duel Links. Okay, then. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll add Blue Eyes White Dragon. Yes. Well, now that we have Blue Eyes White Dragon, we can play Burst Stream like twice on this fool. On this fool. We got another uh, Kaiba Man. We're gonna play Blue Eyes White Dragon. Not a single card. Oh baby, 1080p Blue Eyes White Dragon animation. I, I don't know why, this animation is so iconic. I feel like it's more iconic than Dark Magician because people play Blue Eyes a lot more. But I really like the Blue Eyes White Dragon summoning animation. Okay, now we're gonna end our turn so we can't attack with the Blue Eyes the turn we play Burst Stream. Ooh. Ooh, that is not cool. Let's go special summon, that's fine. It's for you in your graveyard. Yeah, we'll just do that guy. Ancient Rules. Now I really want to get another. Can we draw into another blue eyes? Hey, that's what I like to see right there. Let's flick that fat 3,000 points of damage. Hopefully this trap isn't too scary. It doesn't matter, I don't think. Oh, are you joking me? Okay, yeah, you know, any fairies in your hand. There we go, got the 3,000 damage from someone blue eyes, and hopefully we're gonna win. Hopefully we're gonna win real quick. We got the Econs. We got the Econs. Oh, what is, what is, okay, thanks. I actually like that, that's pretty dope. Thanks, this is you. Ah! Big oof. Yeah, that duel is quick. Build a deck on blue eyes, don't mind if I do. More consistent than the Wing Dragon or Raw. I don't know, you guys are probably gonna go in the comment section and tell me like how to properly build a Wing Dragon or Raw deck or whatever, but still, it's all good. There's only one way for me to win this. I summon Obelisk the Tormentor! Nani. Yes, now attack me, Kaiba. As soon as you do, your Attrition God card will self-destruct just as my necklace foretold. I need nothing but the strength of an Egyptian god to win. The end is here. No one shall survive this fury of Obelisk. Obelisk and Torment her I win. Urgh. Obelisk isn't attacking. I feel something strange inside. Oh man, this scene was so cool. Oh man, this scene is so cool. Blue eyes? Grr. I. Hear me now, I won't be controlled. I decide my future, not you, Azizu. I trip you, Obelisk, and one other monster. H how could my Millennium Necklace be wrong? He has changed the future. Show yourself, Blue Eyes! Azizu, if only could foresee all my moves, how did Blue Eyes surprise you? Dot, dot, dot. Unless, of course, you're nothing but a fake as I expected. Blue Eyes, White Dragon, attack! White Lightning! Dot dot dot. Victory is mine. 
Hey, that's what I like to see. Hey, zone complete. We got a thousand needles. That was such a cool. Dude, it's actually so much fun to also do the do the voice acting along with it. Welp, looks like next episode we're going to be tackling Joey Wheeler and um, we're also going to be uh, tackling good old Seto Kaiba. Let's do some card lottery though before we wrap up today's episode. Let's do a one spin real quick. Come on. Oh! Oh! Let's get- Oh! Two! 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 two. Oh, man. We got, I already have both of these cards. These are literally my four copies of both of them. That's an oof right there, man. Fourth Law Lilo and fourth Anti-Magic Arrows. That is pretty lame. But still, that's really cool that we got two SR drops. Or S or Prismatic Packs. But yeah, I think it's going to be doing it for uh, today's episode. Sorry for this episode being crazy long. I tried so hard. Tried so hard to get past my, and it just did not work out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Battle City Showdown event. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are excited or not. To hit that subscribe button so you guys can notify when I'm making more videos on this event. Be sure to smash the like button if you already subscribed or not. I don't know. I can't do this outro right now. My commentary is all over the place. But yeah, just subscribe, like the uh, like the video if you guys enjoyed. Sorry, my commentary is all over the place. I can't do this right now. It's so difficult for me. But yeah, I can't wait to get on to uh, more episodes on this Battle City Show event. That was so much fun uh, just going through this. So much fun to do it with you guys too. But that's going to be doing it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And I'll go see you guys in the next episode. See you later.